Disable the security essentials end of life warning on Windows XP. Is it possible to disable the support for this operating system? Is ending warning that the current version of Microsoft Security Essentials displays on Windows XP? Based on a quick couple of searches, this warning appears to have been added in the KB2949787 update to Security Essentials, but I can't see a way to revert just that update. Aside, since I'm sure people are going to ask, here is why I want to do this. I already have a plan to migrate soon. The warning is nagging other people who can't do anything about it. Since the warning state uses the orange warning icon and pop-ups, it makes real antivirus warnings that people may need to know about harder to notice, edit actually. The orange icon and pop-up is typically only used for less serious conditions like out-of-date definitions and lack of a recent quick scan, not real antivirus warnings, as such. Workaround The end of support pop-up notification can't be disabled, and downgrading isn't really an option. Microsoft Security Essentials MS, would upgrade itself again, sooner or later. While you could still try to prevent it from upgrading, there's no guarantee that the olden's version would still receive updates as usual. Considering the notification is generated by the user interface executable, you can override it with an earlier version while keeping the up-to-date engine. Update, May 30, 2014 As commented by its Salus 2, the registry changes were detected as a tampering threat. My previous method has been abused by malware creators for malicious purposes, and that's why I'm complained about it. To solve this issue I've since switched to a different approach. In case you applied this workaround before, just follow step 6 to 7 again. Eventually you will need to switch to a different antivirus solution, as them's definition signatures won't be updated anymore on Windows XP after July 14, 2015. For the time being, however, the steps below should do the trick. Get a copy of version 4.4.304.0 of them's installer. Any language will do. See the file information below. Log on with an administrator account and extract the msinstall.exe file using 7-zip. Open the x86 folder and extract f.mc, though 7-zip. Rename the extracted msis.exe file to msis2.exe. Copy msis2.exe to them's install folder. For example, see column backslash program files backslash Microsoft security client. Open a command prompt, type or paste the following command, and press enter. Restart Windows. Note although unlikely, Make sure to repeat step 6 to 7 shouldn't upgrade in the future. Screenshots. Before. Until April 8, 2014. April 8, 2014 onwards. After. Click for larger view. Additional information. Microsoft Security Essentials will not be available for download on Windows XP after April 8, 2014. If you already have Microsoft Security Essentials installed, you will continue to receive anti-malware signature updates through July 14, 2015. Source, Support for Windows XP for Enterprise Business is Ending. Version Upgrade. Version 4.5.216.0 of Microsoft Security Essentials was deployed on the 26th of March, 2014. On Windows XP, the status displayed permanently became amber slash yellow indicating potentially unprotected. After the 8th of April, the date support for Windows XP ended, the status became red indicating at risk. This is by design due to the fact that Windows XP end of support is 8th of April, 2014. You cannot change the status of Microsoft Security Essentials to green on Windows XP after the upgrade. 
The notification tray icon for Microsoft Security Essentials will remain red or amber slash yellow if no other issues are detected. You cannot uninstall the upgrade and return to the prior version as it will automatically upgrade. Source, Microsoft Security Essentials 4.5.216.0 on Windows XP, at risk greater than 9th of April, 2014. File Information As Microsoft no longer provides MS for download on Windows XP, you need to rely on third parties who can provide the old setup package. Here are the basic details and hashes of the official as English, NS, installer and the user interface executable, which is language neutral. While different languages have different setup packages, hence different details, all of them include identical copies of the MSIS.exe file, which has to be digitally signed by Microsoft Corporation, and countersigned by Microsoft Timestamp Service, both signatures must be valid. You can check them by opening the File Properties dialog. Download Links You can use any of these, or find an alternate source yourself. While the actual file name could be different, the other details provided above must match exactly. Make sure to scan the files using your antivirus, and upload a copy to VirusTotal to feel confident enough. If possible, test the program in a safe environment first. When you're done, make a backup of the executable. This URL, this URL. End of life status. MS also provides a registry, value, to show the current end of life status of the current OS if it's near end of life. It's called, end of life state, and is stored in, hklm backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Microsoft antimalware.stage1. OS is approaching end of life. At this stage, the OS is near the end of its support life cycle. MS will still work as normal. Stage 2, grace period. OS has reached end of life, but anti malware platform service is still running and definition updates can be received. For example, for Windows XP, the grace period stage starts on April 8, 2014. Stage 3, anti malware service stopped. You can no longer start the anti-malware service, and your computer will not receive anti-malware definition updates. Thus, MS will no longer help to protect your computer. For example, for Windows XP, this stage starts on July 14, 2015. Source: FEP and SCEP anti-malware protection support after OSI's reach end of life. Despite what the official source says, the third stage may happen sooner than expected. As the commenter KY noted, the anti-malware service will stop as early as June 15, 2015. Whether intentional or not, this was confirmed by my tests as well. Funny enough, Microsoft pushes the new save version, 4.5.216, with nagging screen through automatic updates, but still has the previous version, 4.4.304, available for manual download. I would not be surprised if they've pushed the 4.5 version only to XP users. Anyway, the solution is. Manually download security essentials here. Keep it for later use, go to your configuration screen, select software and uninstall security essentials, select automatic updates and opt for the second possibility, download and ask to install, Install your downloaded version of Security Essentials, the first time Windows Update asks you to update say, you say no and click that you do not want to be bothered again about this update. To remove an update go to Control Panel. Under Add and Remove Programs click Show All Windows Updates. Then find your update and uninstall it. If that does not work try System Restore.